Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. This one is about divisibility rules. Um, just some uh, quick ways to find out if larger numbers are divisible by certain numbers. Um, so some of the easier ones to remember uh, is two, if a number is divisible by two, it's gonna have a number in the e an even number in the ones place. So if there's a zero, two, four, six, or eight in the ones place, it's gonna be divisible by two. To determine if a number is divisible by 5, it has to either have a 0 or a 5 in the 1's place. If it's divisible by 10, it's going to have just a 0 in the 1's place. And then if it's divisible by 4, you're going to look at the last two digits, the two numbers, and if that number is divisible by 4, then the whole number is divisible by 4. So 12 is divisible by 4, and so is 48. So both of these numbers would work. Okay, for the next set of numbers, they are a little bit more tricky. You have to do sort of like some tests with these, but um, most of them are pretty easy to do. So if a number is divisible by three, what you'll do is you'll add up all of the digits, and if that sum is divisible by three, then the whole number is divisible by three. Um, if a number is divisible by 6, then both the rules for uh, divisibility by 2 and by 3 have to apply. So, for example, this one does not work because we have an odd number. So it is divisible by 3, but it is not divisible by 2. So that one does not work. But this one does work for both cases. It's divisible by 3, as we just showed in the last uh, example and it has an even number in the uh, in the ones place so it's divisible by two so that means this whole thing is divisible by six as well um, nine nine's rule is pretty similar to three except the sum has to be divisible by nine so if we add all of these numbers up in in our big number we get 27 and 27 is divisible by nine these last two numbers are a little bit more tricky, a little bit more involved, but uh, for 8, you have to just look at the last three digits, and if the last three digits are divisible, is a number that's divisible by 8, then the whole number can be divided by 8. And then 7 is the trickiest of all. So what we our test for 7 is to double the last digit, subtract it from the rest of the number, and then if that difference is divisible by 7, then your big number is divisible by seven. And I wrote out a little example here for you. So we're gonna check 357. I'm gonna take that last digit and double it, and that gives me 14. And then I'm going to subtract 14 from the remainder of my number, 35. So 35 minus 14 gives me 21, and 21 is divisible by seven. So I hope that helps you when you're trying to figure out divisibility of bigger numbers. Thanks, and please subscribe.